How you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? And I have one I haven't had before. I think Lard is going to try to get in the video here. Uh, Sweet Child of Vine from uh, Fulton Brewing Company. I've never had anything from them before. Fulton Brewing Company. Uh, Sweet Child of Vine. Balanced, complex, and approachable. Where do we go now? 6.4%, 69 IBUs. Brewed and packaged by Fulton Brewery in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So there you go. Uh, my friend John Pearsall brought this back for me when he was out there. So thanks, John. I appreciate it. Oh, wow. Gave it to me about two weeks ago. I apologize for not getting to it sooner. Uh, been busy, man. Balance, complex, and approachable. 69 IBU, 6.4%. Yeah, I was trying to gather that nose. Uh, getting a nice amount of malt on the nose. There's some hops, don't get me wrong, but there, it is it is malty. Oh, wow. Um, wow, there's a little different flavor. Oh, I just noticed that. I didn't, uh, I just poured it all in there. Got to thinking, but there's some stuff floating around in there. I didn't know there might be some some action in the beer, or I'd have poured it easier, or left that little bit in the bottom. But there you go. There's some stuff going on in there, kind of a copper color. There's a flavor I can't quite uh, get a grasp on, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what that is. So uh, there's a lot of malt in the middle. There's a lot of hoppage too. You're certainly going to get some citrus. Uh, there, there's you know bits of grapefruit. There's some pine going on. But there's a I, I, again I'm I'm, I'm kind of stumped to be honest with you. I, uh, there, there's something else there that I'm not quite figuring out. I'm not sure what that taste is that I'm getting. Hmm, I'm gonna let that sit a minute. Uh, wow, that's uh, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't ready, man. <laughs> Never had anything from this brewery before. There's something else in there. I'm, I'm getting some typical IPA flavors. I'm getting more malt than in uh, most IPAs these, these days. It is a little darker, as you can see. It is maltier. There's certainly some stuff floating around in there. There is some grapefruit. Boy, I am baffled on that other flavor. It's almost um, it's almost like a sassafras-like note. I don't know. Maybe my taster's off. Yeah, I'm getting something very off. <laughs> There's something else going on, man. I'm not quite putting her together today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, it's good. It's just different. I, uh, there's something different going on here that I just can't quite put my finger on. So there you go. If I if I figure it out, I'll come back. If not, I'm just going to leave it there. But thank John for bringing me the beer. It is different. Yeah, it's kind of like sassafras. I was thinking uh, what was popping in my mind was, was anise, but I knew I wasn't tasting anise. But I wasn't thinking of that right. It was something herbal, and I wasn't quite coming up with it. And then it just kind of hit me. It's it's sassafras. So it was like a sassafras-like note in there. So there you go. Hey, I'm Dr. Beer Whisperer. Thanks, John, for bringing this to me. I'm Dr. Beer Whisperer. I'm running for Beer Whisperer in Chief, and I approve this message.